What's that? The, the roads at Jordan Lumber. Yeah, exactly. Right. It's right before it or right after it, something like that. Yeah. No, it's right before it. You almost like you turn into the parking yeah. lot. So everyone, Anthony here, down here at Rapid Stream, I guess, um, on my way to Mount Abraham in Maine. Uh, no White Mountains or Vermont this weekend. Uh, getting to this trailhead, I'm going to go up the Fire Wardens Trail, and getting to this trailhead has been all, probably as much of an adventure as it will be actually hiking the mountain. Um, had to get on the phone with Matt, as you just saw and uh, get some directions because my GPS had no idea where I was going and the map was just not working out. Um, well, it was the gazetteer, the main gazetteer, and it was like I'm in the corner of four or five different pages trying to figure out where to go. So I'm on the right route here. I just got to cross a couple new bridges, I guess, because the, the, uh, the description I had read for this to get to this trailhead said that the bridges were really rough shape. You might not be able to get over them, but it was back in 2014 that this was written up so um, I guess since then these bridges have been replaced so anyways we're gonna get back on the road and uh, head down to the trailhead and see how things go So when you're coming down in a car like mine, look out for the rock that's painted orange. I was looking at the river and not at where I was going, and I freaking wailed that. I don't think I did any damage, but hit it good. And so here's the first bridge. Pretty rugged one. Oh, and there's a second one up there. Up there! So the, these bridges, the report that I read said that these bridges were in rough shape, but these have been replaced. I'm getting the old Impreza over them, so... Only bought him out that one time. Why not bought him out on a rock painted pink? <laughs> Welcome to Maine, where getting to the trailhead is just as much of an adventure as hiking the mountain. So here we are, finally at the trailhead. Pack haul, unpack, because I had it packed up for an overnighter. Um, for tonight, actually, when I'm hiking, find a camp spot at, over towards the Crockers. Forgot my day pack. I meant to bring my day pack so I could pack that up for, for Abraham. So, anyways, I unpacked all my overnight gear, got it down somewhat light. Um, two other cars already here. Either they got here earlier, they're out there camping. And I'm thinking trails that way, but I'll figure out on the GPS in a second. <laughs> Not really sure yet. So, anyways. Gonna get on the trail. Uh, it's, about, it's a little less than four miles up. I heard it doesn't get really steep till after the camps. There's a campsite, a tent site, that's run by the AMC out here. Um, that wasn't on my map, but yet I think it was on my GPS, and I believe I found it on line when I was looking at something else. So I'm not really sure the deal. I suppose it has a pit privy and a bunch of handful of uh, tent spots, and I'm gonna check it out when I get up there. Because if I ever come back and do this one in the winter, I can see a camping trip in the works if this road, because I doubt you can get down this road in the winter time. So anyways, let's get on the trail. So I was wrong. Parking spots over there. So when you come out of the way you park, you go to the right, back to the road. Basically, we just came up that road right there. And then there is a car with some sticks and a sign right there.
get the car in. and then trail sign. Mount Abraham Mount Abraham's Fire Wardens Trail campsite is 1.8. Mount Abraham Summit is 3.9. I told you it was under four miles, just barely, but it is. And it looks like a pretty decent trail. Go check her out. trail crossing but 1.38 in um, I'm not sure where this goes on my GPS it shows there's a dead end of both ends so but it looks like it's been used um, I'm thinking maybe snowmobile trail but just crosses and somebody lost their hat Been pretty well flat till now. Well, actually, still flat. Let me rephrase that. Definitely some major reroutes back there. You can see where they they blazed the tree to turn, and you can see where it went straight and went along down down for a while, quite a ways. I don't even know. If, I think I just merged back to it over there, and uh, I think they just got it because it was down kind of low, maybe wet down in there. So, anyways, I'm gonna keep on going. The campsite is. I thought I said 1.9 or something like that. I'll have to look at my picture I took. But probably almost to the campsite. Check that out. Gotta be almost to the campsite here. Across two rivers. The trail's been pretty nice, dry, I have dry feet. Not often I can say that. I only slipped on one rock coming across the river. Actually, it was when I was trying to get the water water shot, underwater shot with a GoPro. <laughs> I almost went face first into the river. But that's just expected from me. After all, I am the trail slipper. <laughs> so, hopefully the audio is coming out okay. I'm using the GoPro, as I do often when, at least used to, until I reset the factory settings and haven't been able to get everything back the way I had it. Um, I always would use it on moving videos because of the stabilization is okay. Considering my Sony has none. <laughs> Anything's been better than that. So I'd like to uh, have some faith in GoPro and get the seven. But I'm hearing the eight's coming out. So I'm gonna wait until the eight comes out, see how much the seven drops in price and maybe get that, or maybe just go to the eight, depending on if it's any good. So I have not always been, I used to be happy with the, with the five until I got my Sony and now not so much. Anyways, I was having issues with audio. I adjusted some audio settings and some frames and ISOs and I've been messing with it. I had it perfect. I should have never messed with it. But, oh, first obstacle. Oh no, what are we gonna do? This is fairly fresh. Maybe like a week or two. Maybe last night it was already dead.
because this is connected to the AT. Well, I thought I missed the campsite because the sign said it was 1.8. I said 1.9 back there, but it actually said 1.8. I checked my picture. I saw no campsite. I'm two, about two and a half miles now. Two and three quarters, so I'm 2.76. Um, and I come across a sign that says Toilet, Main Appalachian Trail Club. So let's go check out this tent site that was supposed to be about a mile plus back. <laughs> Thought I was losing it. I wonder if it's because they rerouted and it added that much. Um, it had to add over a mile to this trail. It means that the summit is an extra, is over five, uh, oh, yeah, five-ish miles away. So. I don't think that's right. I think the sign's been wrong since the beginning. Um, but anyways, let's go check this out. Oh, and I've been marking all the river crossings on my GPS, and I'll mark this campsite on my GPS too. And Gut Hook is right, because I did look at Gut Hook, and it showed this right where it is. It actually is. So the only thing wrong so far is the sign for the mileage. So, Well, definitely not what I'm used to for a tent site. Could probably put oh it looks like there's maybe another trail up there trails though it's like right there fire pit with a grill and a privy with a Oh, it's wood. I thought that was a moose, a piece of moose antler or something. Oh, look at that! Another beautiful one! Please close the seat. Wow. So anyways, that was Anthony's preview review of Maine. We've got New Hampshire, Vermont, now Maine in our narrow belt. I guess this is a tent site right here. <laughs> Hopefully it gets better up here. I found a little spur trail. Oh, another trail goes up that way. Oh, this one has some nice dead tree ready to fall on you. <laughs> Look at this one. <laughs> you roll downhill. <laughs> huh. I don't even think you make a hammock work in this one. To that tree, to that little dinky thing. Well, this one has a nice widow maker up there. I probably can't see because of the sun. <laughs> Basically the only hammock spot in here would be from that tree right there to this one. Or one by the fire. You could probably hang a hammock by the fire if you wasn't having one. The White Mountains regulars would never stand for this. Jeez, <laughs> did I say that out loud? <laughs> Sorry. But yeah, this is this is almost like stealth camping with a privy. And somebody made you a fire pit. But anyways, 
Okay, let's get up this mountain. See how it goes from here. I heard it gets steep after here, at least. Yeah, they did say the tent site, not not the two miles. So, anyways, let's get going. Well, what I read was correct. As soon as you go by the campsite, up, 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 and away you go. Non-stop as far as the eye can see, straight up. So, and it's that kind of rocky stuff. I like the really rocky stuff, but at least there's kind of rockies. Because I hate it even more when it's just sandy and loose gravel. So, anyways. Up, 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 and away we go! So, there's 14 main 4,000 footers. You have the two Crockers, Reddington, Spalding, Sugarloaf, Saddleback, the Horn, um, Abraham, Old Spec, Two Bigelows, there's 11, North Brother, is 12, what didn't I list? Um, I don't know, there's 14. There's two that I'm missing. I can put that together the first time I tried the list. But anyways, so we're heading up Abraham, one of the, I believe, 14, 4,000 footers in Maine. Um, Abraham has the largest, or second, excuse me, the second largest, yeah, it's kind of breezy here, second largest alpine area in Maine. So um, when I break tree line, I believe it's like a half a mile, three quarters of a mile to the summit. So uh, probably won't get any video or any talking video up there, I guess. Um, but I'll get get some views because there's gonna be good views today. Um, I was hoping the under there was big undercast this morning. I was hoping I was gonna hang around, love undercast, but it looks like a pretty blue skies and no clouds up there, and uh, definitely probably not gonna see any undercast. So, anyways, let's get up there and check her out. Okay. Up north we have Katahdin, the two Katahdins, North Brother, then we come down and we've got Saddleback and the Horn, Sugarloaf, Spalding, Crockers, which is two, Reddington, the two Bigelows, that's 12, Abraham and Old Spec, 14. Only took me, what, five tries? But whatever, I don't spend all my time where I live, I guess. Wrong. So. This is Spalding right here. Crocker is actually behind Spalding. And then that Sugarloaf right there. And then these are a bunch of mountains I hadn't heard of. Um, and then owls, not owl, owls, I mean elephants over in that way. So Eustace area must be that way. So. So here we go, above tree line. Um, I'm not really sure what's up with this sign because this is not the Appalachian Trail. Unless it was maybe where they were gonna put Maine Appalachian Trail Club. I don't know, but this definitely isn't the Appalachian Trail that I know of. I don't think, believe it goes over Abraham. I'll have to look at the map. And then of course, Spalding Sugarloaf. And beautiful. I'm not regretting this hike. I don't know if you can make it out on the camera, but over in here, there's different patches. Like that one's almost rectangle. That one's kind of, they're all shaped. I wonder if they clear cut that at one time. Let's see if I can zoom in. Really weird. Definitely like a different tree or a different age tree right there. And then Sugarloaf with all their towers. So the pickings are pretty skimpy. 
best blueberries in the world you find in Maine. Damn bears are eating all my blueberries. Huh. Jeez. Um. So hopefully we find some more blueberries. Well, we're not satisfying at all. Four blueberries. It is after the season. And the bears, uh, all the bear scat I've been seeing is really blue. So I think they've been eating blueberries. But anyways, I just ran into another hiker. He was the second part. There was two cars down there, so I saw two people so far. So I don't suspect I will see anybody else coming down. Maybe as I come down, I might bump into somebody. But I guess I didn't plan on seeing anyone. Main mountain on a Friday. So anyways... Maybe uh, I might be camping alone tonight. Might be some AT hikers there. It is on the, I think that campsite is on the AT, so might be hanging out with some through hikers. But other than that, I don't think I'm going to see too many people. The person I'm hiking was actually, she's staying at a, um Airbnb somewhere. So, anyways, let's get the rest of this done. I'm in, kind of, I'm in the trees again a little bit. <laughs> Alpine zone, but not bear zone, I guess. Here we go, look at the blueberries! Woohoo! I'm gonna check out the summit first, come back and pick some. Shoot, did I say that? Mr. Leave No Trace people? I didn't actually say that, they're everywhere. Guess the bears don't come here and steal them. Look, historical junk! <laughs> cool stuff. I call it junk, but I really like it. Oh, roofing. Oh, a gas tank. There's bullet holes in it. And an old shack for something. Oh, they made it out of rocks. Cool. Too bad that collapsed. Now we got something up here. And then we got some friends over there. I'm gonna go check out. I don't know which one is. Figure out you probably can't hear me. Oh, this is the summit. Abraham, four thousand forty three feet. Somebody working for the state there. I guess it was a fire in 2004, maybe. And uh, he's up here monitoring the regrowth of the alpine vegetation. So those carns over behind me, he was saying, is an unofficial trail. He believes he's not 100% sure, but he believes that's just marking like an unofficial trail that goes over to the middle peak. Um, and then I think you can continue over to the east peak too. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit those other two peaks uh, And maybe go get some lunch over. Go, yeah, go get some lunch. Eat some lunch over there uh, So anyways, let's go go explore Because it's like noon time and I can't even get in the end of Carabasic or care I keep called it something else. I can't even get in there till five o'clock supposedly so I got five hours to blow and four four miles back to the car So I'm gonna hike over there and check it out so let's go see some new terrain. So I look, I'm on my way over to Middle Peak and I look back at, at uh, the main peak. On Abraham, and I see this blackness. <laughs> and it's cruising. But I have signals, so I pulled up the radar, and it's gonna like just miss the peak. I think it's going right, right to the other side. So 
anyways, I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue on. It's definitely gonna go by me. But anyways, at least I was looking and I had signal to see. And then now that I'm sitting here and sitting still, I can see that it's moving the other way. So I think I'm just about there, but it's starting to rain now. Blue skies, once again, raining in blue skies. So I don't think it's gonna rain very long, but I believe this is it right here. It could be a false one. Right there, we'll see in a second. So that's middle over there. It's the a long ways to go. So now that I ate my lunch, um, I'm not going over to middle or east. <laughs> it's a lot more bushwhacking through the woods than I want. Today I didn't bring my winter gaiters to protect my my pretty legs. So maybe I could round up some crazy friends, see if they're on a list or something, because they look cool. They look awesome. But um, maybe they're on a list and I can recruit some friends to come over and come up here and do it. Maybe we'll come in camp at that campsite so we're only a mile from the summit of Abraham and then go over there. Because I think it's a mile more to middle and then another mile to east. So it's probably two mile. I think once you get on middle, you're pretty much above tree line again. But getting from here to middle is a lot of trees. Um, and a lot of elevation loss and gain. And I'm just not, got my brand new pack, don't have my gators I usually wear when I bushwhack, and just decided I don't I don't have the desire today to do it. Plus, I, it's after one, and I have to get down, I have to go five miles back now, because I'm an extra mile, and then um, get my car and drive out of that road, drive all the way around Sugarloaf for about an hour, and then get down that, other road that's gonna be the guy from the state was telling me is pretty good so it might not be that bad but that's another few miles down there then i have to hike in um a between depending on what you look between a mile and a mile to two miles so and set up camp and it looks like it's gonna rain so yeah just not not in the cards today so anyways i'm gonna turn around and head back up abraham and down around before i get rained on so anyways see you back on the trail